Hello, I'm Jennifer Kraus, and here are your latest headlines. One person is dead after a car crash in Hendersonville. It's happened on West Main Street around 2 this morning. Police say the driver was heading east when the car left the road and hit a telephone pole. The driver died at the scene. There was no one else in the car and no word yet on what caused the car to run off the road. An 11 year old boy died after being hit by a train in Antioch. This happened yesterday morning around 930. Max Baker was reportedly on a railroad bridge off Franklin Limestone Road, not far from his house. The train operator saw the boy, but could not stop the train in time. Investigators are calling his death a tragic accident. On the 440, several ramps are closed this weekend as part of that big widening project. The 440 East Ramp to 21st Avenue North and the 440 West Ramp to Hillsboro Pike are closed, as is the I-24 East Ramp to the 440 West. They all should be back open by tomorrow morning at 5, just in time for rush hour. Well, spring is still a few weeks away, but the Nashville Sounds are already gearing up for baseball in Music City. The team is replacing the grass now at First Horizon Park. It's the first time they've done that in six years. It was all delivered to the field yesterday morning. Tickets, by the way, go on sale March 9th, and the first home game will be April 10th. The park is also still hiring, and they'll be hosting a job fair there Tuesday. And the new Whole Foods Market in downtown Nashville is now open. The nearly 45,000 square foot store offers all the Whole Foods staples, including specialty local foods, grab and go meals, and a coffee bar. Parking is available in a garage under the store. The store opened Friday. It's on Broadway. The first few hundred people in line got free samples and giveaways along with their groceries. The store is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Leland Statham for a check of your Sunday forecast. All right, things are looking good for your Sunday, but here comes more rain. The amounts do look a little less now than earlier, but still some spots could get one to three inches of rain. Some of the southern counties could still end up with two to four inches of rain by the time it's done by the middle of the week. Amounts through tomorrow or actually through Tuesday midday show between about one to two inches. Here we go with our seven day 67 today, 49 tonight. Then on Monday, we'll watch Monday afternoon, Monday evening. There's a thunderstorm or two that could be on the strong side. Then into Wednesday, 57, just a little bit of a shower chance that day. And then for now, 48 on Saturday, a reminder, early reminder next weekend is when we spring ahead one hour, daylight saving time beginning next, one week from today, next Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Leland Satum. Have a good day and a fantastic week.